Welcome back everyone, this is Dom, and this is another episode of Kerbal Realism. Don't exactly know which episode this is anymore because I've been trying to record a little bit of footage here and there, uh, just to kind of make up for a busy week. I'm trying to get this episode out for Saturday. I'm currently recording this segment for on Friday, so uh, just kind of been a little bit busy this week. Anyways, um, we are back out in space looking at our... Get ready for the blinding. There it is. Uh, looking at our space probe. Uh, this is actually our space telescope, and it's currently floating around Kerb in here. Here we are. Let's get F2 back out. I like, I don't know, I thought that was a really cool view, so that's why I started that off. So, uh, last episode, I said I was going to uh, re-enter uh, the space shuttle, and we are actually going to add that footage in uh, very, very soon. Uh, let me just give you a little bit of, I'd have to say, uh, heads up <laughs> about this footage. Um it is going to be sped up times times four. I'm not going to be talking over it. Um, basically, I'm just probably going to find some music for it. Um, I have tried to re-enter and record re-entering the shuttle about eight times now. Uh, and I finally just kind of was like, forget it. I'm just going to go keep on trying, keep on trying, keep on trying. And, uh, you know, not, not do commentary the entire time. So when uh, the entire recording session, I think, was six minutes long. Um, from re-entry down to uh, landing, and I'm going to speed it up times times four for you guys, so it's only like a minute and a half or something like that. A uh, minute, 45 minutes, 45 seconds, something like that. Uh, so enjoy the footage, and I will meet you back out here. Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, yeah, that's a uh, <laughs> that landing was the only landing in about nine or ten tries that I successfully didn't kill Jeb and Bill or whoever was in there, uh, the crew. Mostly attributed to um, almost every single time I got on the runway, except for that one. Uh, that was one of the only occurrences I really didn't. I was actually going to quit mid-flight and uh, restart it again, uh, but I decided to go for it. 
So really what happened is the landing gear on that ship, uh, every single time I tried to s land at uh, the space center, it would kind of flop out, kind of like it was uh, not capable of holding the weight of the space shuttle. So there's a lot of tweaking I gotta do and probably another, uh, probably a couple of test flights to properly make the shuttle uh, the way we want it to. So uh, I still want to do a shuttle though, and that's uh, it's really, really fun for me. I think, I think it's a, I think it's uh, kind of brings me back to NASA, you know, that kind of thing. So anyways, uh, we are going to continue getting some science of some planets and stuff. So I'm going to do one, I'm just going to get this, uh, one of these set off camera. Um, we're going to take some pictures and we're going to look at some distant planets. So I'm going to get one set up. Uh, you guys already know how this all works and I'll bring you back for that. Okay. And we're back. And I have been trying ever so slightly to try to get a good shot of Eve and I can't really seem to. Um, I don't know what the problem I'm having is really. Um, it seems to be, maybe I'm moving too fast with respect to it, but I can't get a really good stable shot of it. Oh, here we go. Cool. Look at that. Take a picture of Eve. Science collected for Eve. Sweet. Oh uh, yeah, so that's that's kind of what I've been up to recently, is just kind of doing these. I've still got a couple more to do. Um, fill this one. This one's more or less full. Cool. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, it's gonna be interesting. Very, very interesting. Bloop. I think I can do a control from here and it actually will work. So I can look at the from the telescope. But uh, I'm going to do this for as many of these hard drives as we possibly can. I want to get uh, shots of Duna. It'd be pretty cool. Um, and then uh, I'm going to try to fill up as many as of these hard drives as we can. And then uh, we'll do a re-entry and collect all the science from them. Mostly I want to do the science because... Um, I need to get better wheels for the for the uh, the shuttle, so I think that'll be my next goal is to get better landing gear. So I'm going to do a couple more shots with this and get a couple more of them lined up, uh, fill up the hard drives, and then we'll try to re-enter with the thing. See you then. Okay, guys. I've had so many troubles. Uh, I've had to re-record uh, this scene that I'm currently recording a couple times uh, over and over again, mostly due to the fact that this pod here is kind of, it rips itself off of this, uh, of these hard drives here. And I'm not exactly sure why uh, it, it just comes detached. It's as if it's not one big uh, thing. It, it just kind of rips itself off. So these kind of plummet to the earth with nothing attached to them, which is horrible. Uh, so what the new plan is, is to bring something up get the science out and bring it home um i think is the newest plan uh, so that's actually going to be it for this episode i know it's been relatively short um and i really wish i didn't bring up all this stuff here if we were gonna come up and just kind of repair if you if you will uh repair these um this and retrieve the, the science but Ah, it's just disappointing. So, yeah, that's just going to be it for this episode. I apologize. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.